And so, um, I mean, on a serious note here, um, when I was in high school, I had a rough time. Um, I got made fun of a lot and um, was always trying to find a group that would uh, take me in, so to speak, and not make fun of me. Well, when I found that group, so to speak, to be <laughs> the 420 stoners, <laughs> um, you know, they did not care that I had seizures. They did not care that I walked with a little limp. They did not care that um, I had my arm because my arm sticks out kind of, and they did not care about that. Um, so that really made me feel good because I was always made fun of. And uh, <clears throat> when I started to use this plant when I was um, younger, um, I just was like, wow, okay. You know, um, I found me a group of people that is willing to accept me for me. And I don't have to um, try to impress these other people that are doing, you know, drinking at like 15, 16 years old and doing pills and all of that, you know, and everything. And so I just got so sick and tired of getting made fun of. So I just went with that group. Yeah. And yes, I will admit we <laughs> drunk a little bit, yes, but I mean, we did not do it like it. <laughs> the other, you know, groups or type of people would do. And I'm not trying to down them, but oh, wow. um, the point is, sir, um, I was a senior and I was at a party and... Um, uh, I was smoking, of course, and uh, the law come by. Okay. And the law come in, and the uh, police officer knew my name. And because he uh, pretty much was the officer that had to come to the high school when I had seizures uh, and, you know, yeah. take control of it of everything yeah. and when he seen that i was there he was like seth get everybody calm down you know blah 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 you know and get home whatever so i'm like thank you you know <laughs> thank you for not taking us to jail mm -hmm. so um um make a long story short um my friend um uh ended up getting mad about something and he was drinking and I don't like drinking and driving because I've had family members, you know, in the accidents. So, um, something just told me to tell him not to go, but he would not listen. And, um, he got so mad about something that he got on his crotch rocket and just went uh, right down the road doing about 110. And then all of a sudden, nothing, you could hear nothing. And something just made me say, I'm going home. And the way I go home, home sir, is the way um, he was going. Yeah. And so about a half a mile, um, down the road I seen a bike laying in the middle of the road right. and he was well no not in the middle of the road he was in the middle middle of the road pretty much right. his bike was in the creek he uh, wrecked and um, um, tore down a tree broke uh, eight ribs punctured his lungs uh, broke his uh, I think broke his right arm I think he broke his leg too, but anyways, um, um, I tried to give him CPR and everything, and people um, thought that I had something to do with it, because um, when I was giving him CPR, um, 
he would squirt blood up on me. Damn. Because I did not know that he had a punctured lung. At the same time. And so when the cops pulled up, they thought I was, had something to do with it. Yeah. So they, you know, was running towards me, you know, was like, get your hands up, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But where I was in the youth group at the time, um, the firefighters come and one of my friends that are in the youth group said that, no, he did not have nothing to do with it whatsoever. You know, he just come up on it. And so I had to get statements, you know, make a statement for the police. Well, I was waiting on a ride to take me home. And, um, that next day I woke up and I got, got a phone phone call yeah. and um, uh, I went to my friend's house and he showed me the front page of the newspaper okay. and and it was me sitting on the guardrail with blood from my head to my toes covered like I was in a saw movie and they pretty much made me to be out like I was involved in it and I caused it. And then that's when I decided was like, okay, I'm done with the people that are drinking. I'm done with everything. And the only thing that I'm going to do is smoke my pot. If you all are going to come and get me, do it. But I know my rights and it's a part of my religion, and if you want, want to come and get me, come and get me, but you all are going to lose because I can show you where it's in the Bible. Yeah.